Hello everyone! In this Python and OpenCV tutorial, we explain how to draw rectangles. We explain how to draw both filled rectangles and rectangles with only boundary lines, such as the ones that you can see over here. In addition to this, we explain how to generate a drawing canvas that you can see over here, represented by an image with the desired background color, and how to save the image with drawn rectangles as PNG or JPG files. But before I start with explanations, I need to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial, as well as more than 450 free video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. And consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's start with explanations. Before we explain how to draw a rectangle in OpenCV and Python, we first need to explain the orientation of coordinate systems in OpenCV. This figure shows the orientation of the coordinate system in OpenCV. This is the x-axis, this is the y-axis, and this is zero. Then rectangles in OpenCV are defined by two points. They are defined by the top left corner point and the bottom right corner point. Okay, let's start with coding. The first step is to import the necessary libraries. First of all, we need to import NumPy. Then we need to import OpenCV. Note that we import OpenCV simply as import CV2. Next, let's set the width and height of the background image. Height image is equal to 600 and the width of our image is equal to 600. Let's create an empty image with a white background. I will type this new image white is equal to numpy.zeros and over here I need to specify the image dimensions. That is I need to specify first of all the height of the image then the width of the image and over here I need to specify the number of color channels. In OpenCV we use the so-called BGR image format. BGR, I will write it here, is an abbreviation for blue, green and red. Consequently, every image has three channels where every channel defines a color of a pixel at certain coordinates over here and over here. Okay, and we need to specify the data type of our matrix. The data type is unsigned integer 8, denoted like this. That is, every entry of this matrix is an 8-bit integer. Better to say 8-bit unsigned integer. The values are from 0 to 255. 255 is actually equal to 2 to the power 8 minus 1. Let's execute this code and let's investigate our matrix that represents our image. So here's the matrix and let's type something like this. Shape. Okay, actually I shouldn't write this. I should do this. And then I should type shape. This array has 600 rows, 600 columns, and it has three channels. We can look, for example, at the pixel at the position 300, 300, and as the result, we will obtain this array here, where the first entry is actually B, that is blue, the second entry is green, that is G, and the last entry is red, that is R. 000 is a BGR code for black. That is, currently we have an image with a completely black background. However, we would like to have a white background. Consequently, we need to change the channels of this image. We can do it like this. First of all, let's fix the first channel. We can do it like this. And over here, I need to specify the index of the first channel, that's 0, and it should be equal to 255. 
The idea over here is to set the BGR to 0, zero actually to 255, 255, and 255. Since 255, 255, and 255 is actually a code for white. We will do that for the other channels. So this was the blue channel. Now we need to set the green channel. Over here, I will set this index to 1. And finally, we need to fix the red channel. We'll do the same thing over here, and we'll specify 2 over here. OK. Now, let's see our image. That is, let's investigate the entries. Or better, let's write something like this at an arbitrary pixel. Let's look channels. Okay, 255, 255, and 255. Perfect. It's always a good practice to verify the image color. I will use this simple Python script over here that I wrote previously to display my image. I'm using the function image show to display the image. The first argument is the name of the window. The second input argument is my image. Then I'm using this function wait key to wait for the user to press any key. And after user presses any key, the Python script will finish. And finally, I close the window over here. So let's see our image. Here it is. Here's our canvas. Perfect. I will comment this piece of code since we don't need it. OK, let's now learn how to draw a rectangle. As I mentioned previously, the rectangle is specified by the top left corner point and the bottom right corner point. Consequently, let's define these points. Top left corner point is defined like this. First, we specify the x coordinate and then we specify the y coordinate. Let's do the same thing for the bottom right corner point. It is equal to 400. 500. Okay, now the next step is to set the boundary line color of the rectangle. I will select the red color. The BGR code of the red color is this tuple 0, 0, and for the red channel I have the maximum value of 255. Next, let's specify the line thickness. And let's select 5, for example. And finally, we are ready to draw our rectangle. To draw a rectangle on the screen, we use the function cv2.rectangle. And over here, we need to specify as the first input argument our image, that is our canvas. Then we specify the top left corner point. Then we specify the bottom right corner point. And let me just do something to fix this. OK, perfect. Then we need to specify the color. And finally, we specify the line thickness over here. Here it is. And let's now display this image. To do this, I will actually use this piece of code and I will uncomment this thing. So let's see our rectangle. And here's our rectangle. Here it is. Looks very nice. Let's close this window by pressing any key. So far, we learned how to generate an image of a rectangle with a boundary. However, how about generating a rectangle that's completely filled? Let's learn how to do that. To do that, we need to make a single modification of this code. Over here, we need to do the following. Instead of the line thickness, we need to specify minus 1. This will tell to Python that we want to generate a rectangle that's completely filled. Let's evaluate this code and let's see the output. Here it is. Looks amazing. And finally, let's learn how to save the generated image. 
we can save the image by using the function imwrite, standing for image write. We specify the name of the file. In this case, I will save the image as a PNG image format. I specify the name of the image, and over here with this flag, I specify the compression level. The compression level of 0 means that there is no compression, and the compression level of 9 means maximum compression. So let's save the image. Here it is. And here is the PNG file of our image. Looks very nice. Okay, that will be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.